everyone, I'm out for a little bike ride. So hopefully you heard the first episode of Cameras at the Ready featuring Leon Brown. I thought it was a very good episode. There were a lot of takeaways that I wanted to try and highlight in this video. And the first one is a lot of people are usually stuck at home or they're out traveling all the time, but they always think that, oh, there's something better elsewhere. There's something better at home. There's something better going across the country and everything like that. And Leon is very good, even whenever he's at home, and I hope you guys really go check out his Instagram. He's very good about like capitalizing whenever he's out on the road, whenever he's at home. He's always able to find really good photos and really good pictures. And it's because he's always out there every day almost trying to get those photos. So I hope you guys, uh, like I said, go out there, check out his Instagram. And I'm actually out on a bike ride right now, so I'm gonna take you along with me talking about the episode. So let's go. Okay guys, another thing that I thought was really interesting about Leon is why he's taking photographs. He's not taking it, you know, to necessarily like be a world renowned photographer. He's taking it to enjoy nature, to enjoy landscapes and scenery and to try to capture some of those moments in life, you know, with his son and with his family. You know, and he talks about the trip they took to Africa with his mom and you know, realizing that he may not have another opportunity to do that. And that's, like I said, another thing that he capitalizes on is just understanding the reason why he's taking a photograph and what he's trying to share with the world whenever he posts those photographs. So that's something that I hope you guys are able to pick up from that episode and apply to your lives is it's not about, you know, trying to be an ambassador for a camera brand. It's not about the affiliate links and everything like that. It's about the memories and the moments that you capture with those. Loose dog. All right, let's keep going. I think another thing that makes Leon a really good photographer is that he's always learning his camera settings. He's always learning the basics of compositions, the different editing tactics and everything like that. He, you know, he'll call me or he'll text me and he'll say, hey, Nathan, did you know your camera could do this? And we shoot on different camera systems, but he's looking at those built-in settings, you know, or he'll say, hey, Nathan, have you seen how to edit your images like this to make them sharper, to make them softer, you know, to get this kind of artistic effect? And that's something that I think a lot of photographers, they get a style, they get a routine going, and they don't deviate from that. And that's something that I think really causes a lot of photographers to struggle is the fact that like they never learn new skills and develop themselves or you know, go beyond what they think their camera can do. A lot of people try to upgrade gear, upgrade gear to get a better image instead of really trying to maximize what gear you have to get the best image. That's something that I think about Leon, even though he's changed the gear numerous times, it's not because of the settings, it's about functionality for him. And that's something that I think, like I said, makes him a really good photographer that I hope you guys are able to go out there and do is just learn a new skill this weekend while you're at home or pick up some new approach for how you're gonna set up your framing and everything like that. And let me know how it goes down below. Thanks guys, let's keep going. So another thing that I think makes Leon a really good photographer is that he's always taking opportunities to share his work and not necessarily look for those partnerships, but whenever he, you know, posts a photo of a church or some kind of hospital or business, he usually tries to tag them in there. And he tags a lot of people and he's very good about using uh, the algorithm and social networks to expand his network of just people who follow him and that watch him and everything like that. And it's really interesting to see, because I was the one that encouraged him to start that Instagram, it's just really fun and you know it's nice to see him grow and expand and get all these different people that are commenting liking and sharing his images of those businesses of those magazines and things like that so that's something i think a lot of people too they are timid to share their work you know because everyone's their own worst critic and they don't think anybody's going to like it but it's sometimes those images that you don't think that are that great that other people are really going to resonate and connect with and you never know especially if you're going to different places what people are going to like from that area so you might post a photo of a particular business in like a different town, a different state, and they might really like that image because it's something different that they haven't seen before. So that's something that I hope you guys get out and do whenever all this is kind of settled down, um, is take some photos, post some tag those businesses. Don't be looking for anything in exchange, you know? Whenever we talk, he's never looking, you know, to make money from a partnership or anything like that. He's looking just solely to put his work out there and hopefully people learn to appreciate the world the way he sees that's something that I think a lot of people could take advantage of all right so let's keep going okay guys so another thing that I think makes Leon another good example of what a photographer should be an act is the fact that like 
And, there, and there's gonna be conflicting viewpoints on what I'm fixing to say, but whenever he gets out of the truck and whenever he sets up the scene, he knows exactly what he wants almost from the time that he looks at it. You know, he's usually got one lens on his camera a majority of the time, so whenever he gets out of the truck, he sees what he wants to take a photograph of. He already knows his settings, he already knows what he's gonna do to get that shot as far as the exposure is concerned, as far as the framing is concerned. And that's something that I feel like a lot of photographers you know, it's got its good and its bad parts about that because one, you know, you're kind of eliminating yourself, but Leon is using it in a different way. Whenever he sees something, he's able to like, hey, I could use this skill here. You know, he's not necessarily confining himself. He is putting out something that he thinks is going to be really good, but he already has it set up before he even like really gets there. Whereas some photographers, you know, if you wake up early and you're trying to get a photograph of the sunrise, you're going to take a photograph with the girlfriend. Should I interview her? She's a Canon photographer though. Let me know your thoughts, I'm an icon person. Anyways, so a lot of photographers, if they were to wake up early in the morning and they hadn't photographed a sunrise before, and they get up and they get out there and they're not sure on the exposure, if they want to go for a long exposure, get some cloud streaks, or if they want to go short exposure and get it nice and crisp, they're not sure. Whereas Leon, because he has so many different skills and abilities and he's learning all the time, he knows how to manipulate his camera and get the best out of any particular scene as soon as he gets there. That's something that I think is a huge part of what makes him so successful is he doesn't miss the opportunities because he always maximizes it. All right, let's keep going. One of the final things that I think makes Leon a really good photographer is he's got that network of friends that I mentioned earlier. He has me and he has others that he's able to bounce ideas off of to talk about photography, to talk about how a photo turned out or what kind of settings to use or what kind of gear to buy. Photography is something that it's nice to do alone but it's nice to have somebody else to encourage you and to help put you into the right mindset or to get you going in the right direction. And that's something too as far as just finding new people or finding new sources to learn things from. He's very good about finding a new YouTube channel or some kind of magazine or something like that where he's going to learn a new skill or a new tactic that's going to put him, you know, that much closer to where he wants to be at as a photographer or to help him get that scene perfectly. So that's something that even if it's like, you know, just somebody in the comments section down below, which I hope you guys are leaving comments, liking, subscribing to this channel and helping support me, um, just so you find somebody else down in there or even if it's me, I'll try to respond to as many people as possible that just encourages you, that gives you some advice and recommendations that helps put you, like I said, that much closer to where you want to be. So. All right, let's keep going, a couple more stops. Okay, so one of the final things that I think makes Leon a really good photographer is that he's not brand loyal. And not that there's anything wrong with being brand loyal. I'm a huge Nikon loyalist. I'll probably always shoot Nikon. Um, but, you know, he's willing to, you know, go for the gear that's gonna be the most beneficial to him, that's gonna help him. You know, he's hopped from Nikon to Olympus to Canon now. You know, and it's not like, oh, hey, he's just looking for the best. He's looking for something that's going to meet his needs. And that's something I think a lot of photographers, you know, they go for whatever their influencer that they're following is shooting on, but not necessarily looking at, like, what kind of photographer they are or what the best thing for them to be shooting on is. So that's something that I really encourage you guys just to do your research, not necessarily what you're being told, but what you feel, see, and know and understand about photography. So let's keep going. One more stop. So the final thing that I think makes Leon a really good photographer is he doesn't limit himself to just one style. He's not always going for a waterfall or a landscape. He's not always going for some kind of wildlife. He's going for whatever he thinks he can get a photo out of that is going to capture that moment and is going to make an impact for him that he's hopefully going to remember. And that's something that I encourage you guys to do is if you're normally used to shooting portraits, get out there, find some cats and go take a photo of them. If you're normally shooting landscapes, try and take some macro imagery and really get out there, explore other things and find the best thing for you. And always keep your cameras at the ready. If you guys have any comments, questions, or if you guys just want to discuss the episode, uh, send a comment down below and remember to like, subscribe and share. That stuff makes a difference and I'll see you guys next time.